All right, welcome to the 901. Gary Payton II unfortunately has been ruled out for the next three to five weeks due to a recovery of that fractured elbow. And Dylan Brooks has been suspended due to the hard foul that led to it. Now, of course, we never like to see a player go down. Nonetheless, though, without their best defender, this could work in the Grizzlies' favor. Without Payton, expect to see one of two things. Andrew Wiggins being the next man up to defend Morant while the Warriors try to pack the paint and force Desmond Bain, Milton, and also Jaron Jackson Jr. and any other threats from the outside to beat them from the outside or even try to trap Ja every chance they get. Now, this will, of course, put pressure on Memphis to have a good shooting game at Chase Center, but as we've seen this season, it's doable. Either way, Patrick Beverly, a spectator at this point, I may add, waited in and said that Ja didn't have 47 on the Timberwolves in the first series. Well, Pat, you're right, but two things can be true at once. And that other thing that's true, well, I'll just put it like this, Grizzlies in six. All right, looking ahead, the WNBA season is on its way. And although we don't have a local team, we do have local ties. The defending WNBA champs are coached by Memphis native James Wade. The 2022 season tips off Friday, May 6th. Grant Gannell is out, which means we have a young quarterback room with Seth Hennigan at the helm and then Tevin Carter, Memphis native, as the backup. And check out these photos. Grizz fans of all ages gearing up for game three on the road. But are you the biggest fan? Send us those photos, 901-321-7520. That's your 901 in 91.